Cristiano Ronaldo being given a free roll by Maurizio. That game, Antonio Conte insistent on implementing his new system at England as well, who are in the starting eleven along with Ronaldo. An opportunity, yes. Fitness is of paramount importance at this stage of the season, but Sari wants to play football. But there's no doubt this has been the talking point of all summer, Matias. Demanding of his players in and around the training ground on the pitch, but he's demanding of the club hierarchy. Here come the two teams now. Fierce rivals in Italy, Juventus and Inter now meeting. Cianucci wears the armband tonight for Juve. Matthias De Ligt and Adrian Rabio start for Juve for the first time. Both came off the bench in the 3-2 loss to so Aaron Ramsey. He's still carrying an injury from his time with Arsenal. Every season, and sure enough, it's just one change here. Despite the fact that Inter's new head coach admits he doesn't think even Perisic can give him what he... It's an all Syria a competitive, no doubt, as we're aware that fitness levels are still not where they want to be. But both and by Matuidi, play on says the referee, Matuidi will be on the overlap for Ronaldo, who fires it down the throat of Handanovic. How often have we seen Ronaldo in that left wing position, cutting inside, driving it the goal and then taking aim? And this we fully expect him to go straight into the team when he's fit and ready. But there's no doubt the very fact that he's been so consistent throughout pre-season in terms of people being selected is because he needs to get... Drilled back in by Dalbert, will it fall kindly for Inter? And the driven in effort eventually comes in from Esposito. Way. Big opportunity for him right now, Gonzalo Higuain. In Lugano before they arrived in Asia. He takes this corner, good one, two, goal! And it may well be an own goal, Inter players are celebrating. And they have taken the lead here. Matthias De Ligt was one of those in the middle trying to deal with the ball in. But the flick on at the near post has led to the opening goal. And it goes the way of Inter from a set piece, no less. Kiss of death from me. I couldn't understand why Inter were looking to cross it every opportunity. But who knows this Juve team better than Antonio Conte? They've done it all the time. A set piece in there. The initial into play attacks across the stories here goes Sensi by the way as he moves beyond Pjanic brilliant individual work and that wasn't too far away from the Italian international so positive force the turnover we saw that in the Tottenham game Enrico Benedeschi Benucci dropping back and into an onside position Iguain at the back post tried to work it back across towards Ronaldo and uh, wasn't quite deft enough touch to see Ronaldo just slightly stumbling and uh, that's brilliant. Best of playing for someone. In by Talbot Enrique in towards uh, Esposito. The free kick has been given. Well, Matisse De Ligt actually had a touch of a tough time against uh, Tottenham Hotspur when he came on. Didn't look entirely up to fitness. Had just joined training. And really on the wing, on the left wing here for Enta. Drops out to this position. And it's Vanucci. Little, I saw a little wrong with that to be fair. He's entitled to get tight. Don't allow Ronaldo. Lovely skills. But in terms of reading any runs from deep, I've seen the skill of Ronaldo here. Look at the no ice pass, this little flip. That defensive unit of Juventus. Chance here again. Off. And uh, that was an opportunity for D'Ambrosio around the back post for Inter Milan. He had a headed chance similar to that against Manchester United, uh, but doesn't take this one either. Cantreva swings it into the middle, and uh, Wojciech Szczesny appeared confident that that was always going to sweep wide of his post. He could be key for uh, Inter. Ronaldo and Iguain, the scorers in the 3-2 loss. It looks like he needs a water break. The manager is not really the big decision maker. This is a chance. Ronaldo. He's got up early. He couldn't stay there. We've seen Ronaldo so often he's able to get up. Well, in the end, since he was in space, Brozovic will try and do something with the uh, loose one. And he does. How he wants to play. And he's executing a really good game plan. And Cello. And it's a foul by Iguain. I think Antonio comes to look. He'll know. They're going to have better attackers available to them soon. Otero Martinez. 
Milosevic, it's a deep one, and Krzyzewski did what was probably the sensible thing in the end, he was unsure where his crossbar was, and tips it over for a corner. It's incredible how things happen in football, and it has such a huge impact. We've not seen representatives to talk to Neymar, so it's staggering. Oh! Great play. This is the first time we've seen the centre forward square up against three centre halves of Inter Milan and be able to retain the possession and lay it off for that second line of attack to come in and strike. Right, caught out under pressure from Matuidi and Bernadeschi goes again. He's making his first start in the Juventus shirt this evening in Nanjing, China. Juve haven't really fashioned many clear cut opportunities. Some luck. Uh, Gary Preen, understandable to see those changes from a Juve point of view. Yeah, I can see everyone likewise, but it looks dangerous now. Buffon in goal now for Juve, and he has to make his uh, first save since being introduced at half-time for Wojciech Krzyzewski. Juve knocked out by Ajax, Barcelona knocked out. Good perseverance here from the former Fiorentina player, and he asked the question, the prize answers to... I have to give those decisions. Ronaldo, and he worked the angle out of absolutely nothing, battered away by the goalkeeper for another Juventus corner. But that was old school Ronaldo. It was, and you could see straight away three at Milan. Bernadeschi swept in brilliantly, and Mandzukic is there. Just couldn't marry a Mandzukic. Ronaldo and Rabio combining. It's still Rabio for Juve, and parried away by Pedelli. Great play, driving from that midfield area, passed it, followed, took the rest, the ball back. He thought he could have hit that early, such was the good layoff. Settles it here, can he hit it? No, has another good touch, opens up. Looks like he's going to get another opportunity to win that tackle. Well, they'll be expected to go close. Well, this is unacceptable for the interplays in the face of the referee. Don't like this at all. Free kick against them after a series of challenges there, all of which they felt were fair. As he has his trademark pre-free kick stance. Ronaldo straight into the wall, Matuidi drives it, great block by Kendreva, who gets his body on the line. It's to feed him and those two interchange it well, Ivan Perisic, great area here for Inter Milan and Demiral with a thumping tackle showing what he can do. Great recovery. Perisic, brilliant initially on the nutmeg to find the space. See here, little release it. Sensi goes short. And towards goal, it goes from Brozovic. Buffon didn't look too concerned. Weak defending there from Kandreva, and here's Ronaldo, who was uh, caught by D'Ambrosio on the edge of the penalty area. So free kick Juve, D'Ambrosio on a yellow card, and uh, the man in the arm pad now is resisting the temptation to complete around the back. So let's see what he's got in store for us. Cristiano Ronaldo, attempt two, and this time he scored via deflection. Got a goal against Spurs in their last game of the International Champions Cup. But it flew beyond the helpless goalkeeper. And Juventus, midway through the second half, have got level against Inter. The fans, that's why they're here, to see that man, to produce something special. You talked about a deflection, yes. How many times have we seen him in that situation, standing over it with that trademark stance? And then just seconds later, that ball's in the net. Given away by De Vrij, Emre Chan feeds Ronaldo. So many options available to the Good hanging ball, and Skriniar did the sensible thing. Such is the disappointment with conceding that goal. You can see Juventus are trying to take advantage of it to make that first goal a quick second. In Italy. It's up towards Ronaldo and Padelli does Inter and the deflected effort from Esposito saved. Still alive here. Galliardini. Oh. Ronaldo gets it from Rabio. He's around the goalkeeper. Oh, Brilliant good recovery tackle. challenge. And Padelli out of nowhere manages to get back. <laughs> then drops the ball. But it was a good piece of goalkeeping having been rounded by Ronaldo and you wonder a few years ago Ronaldo probably would have tucked that away it's brilliant centre forward stands as well of course by the hierarchy at Juve these days the heat don't look like it's affecting him which is cool Conte looks at the score and says there's probably about 10 players I don't need here right now but the reality of the market is how easy is it to sell 10 and bring in 10 all in one transfer well the majority of those guys that you mentioned